Fish and Chips, Wikipedia Audio Fish and Chips is a hot dish of English origin consisting of fried battered fish and hot potato chips. It is a common takeaway food and an early example of culinary fusion. Fish and Chips first appeared in the 1860s, by 1910 there were more than 25,000 fish and chip shops across the UK and by the 1930s there were over 35,000. Fish and chips are now a staple takeaway meal in numerous countries, particularly in English-speaking Commonwealth countries including Australia and New Zealand. Fried fish first brought to England in large quantities by Western Sephardic Jews is considered to be the model for the fish element of the dish. Originally, Western Sephardic Jews settling in England in the 17th century would have prepared fried fish in a manner similar to pescado frito, which is coated in a flour. Battered fish is first coated in flour then dipped into a batter consisting of flour mixed with liquid, usually water but sometimes beer. Some newer modifications to the recipe may have corn flour added, and instead of beer sometimes soda water is added. In 1860, the first fish and chip shop was opened in London by Joseph Mallon who sold fish fried in the Jewish fashion. Fish and chips became a stock meal among the working classes in England as a consequence of the rapid development of trawl fishing in the North Sea, and the development of railways which connected the ports to major industrial cities during the second half of the 19th century so that fresh fish could be rapidly transported to the heavily populated areas. History Deep-fried chips as a dish may have first appeared in England in about the same period, the Oxford English Dictionary notes as its earliest usage of chips in this sense the mention in Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities, husky chips of potatoes, fried with some reluctant drops of oil. The modern fish and chip shop originated in the United Kingdom, although outlets selling fried food occurred commonly throughout Europe. Early fish and chip shops had only very basic facilities. Usually these consisted principally of a large cauldron of cooking fat, heated by a coal fire. The fish and chip shop later evolved into a fairly standard format, with the food served in paper wrappings, to queuing customers, over a counter in front of the friars. By 1910, there were more than 25,000 fish and chip shops across the country, and in the 1920s there were more than 35,000 shops. As a boy Alfred Hitchcock lived above a fish and chip shop in London, which was the family business. According to Professor John Walton, author of Fish and Chips and the British Working Class, the British government made safeguarding supplies of fish and chips during World War I a priority, the cabinet knew it was vital to keep families on the home front in good heart, unlike the German regime that failed to keep its people well fed. In 1928, Harry Ramsden opened his fish and chip shop in Guizili, West Yorkshire. On a single day in 1952, the shop served 10,000 portions of fish and chips, earning a place in the Guinness Book of Records. In George Orwell's The Road to Wigan Pier, documenting his experience of working class life in the north of England, the author considered fish and chips chief among the home comforts which acted as a panacea to the working classes. During World War II, fish and chips remained one of the few foods in the United Kingdom not subject to rationing. Prime Minister Winston Churchill referred to the combination of fish and chips as the good companions. John Lennon enjoyed his fish and chips a staple of the working class smothered in ketchup. British fish and chips were originally served in a wrapping of old newspapers but this practice has now largely ceased, with plain paper, cardboard or plastic being used instead. In the United Kingdom, 
the Fish Labeling Regulations 2003 and in Ireland the European Communities Regulations 2003 respectively enact Directive 2065-2001-EC, and generally mean that fish must be sold with the particular commercial name or species named, so, for example, cod and chips now appears on menus rather than the more vague fish and chips. In the United Kingdom the Food Standards Agency guidance excludes caterers from this, but several local trading standards authorities and others do say it cannot be sold merely as fish and chips. A prominent meal in British culture, the dish became popular in wider circles in London and South East England in the middle of the 19th century, Charles Dickens mentions a fried fish warehouse in Oliver Twist first published in 1838, while in the north of England a trade in deep-fried chipped potatoes developed. The first chip shop stood on the present site of Oldham S. Tommy Field Market. It remains unclear exactly when and where these two trades combined to become the fish and chip shop industry we know. A Jewish immigrant, Joseph Mallon, opened the first recorded combined fish and chip shop in London in 1860 or in 1865, a Mr. Lees pioneered the concept in the north of England, in Mosley, in 1863. The concept of a fish restaurant, as opposed to takeaway, was introduced by Samuel Isaacs who ran a thriving wholesale and retail fish business throughout London and the south of England in the latter part of the 19th century. Isaacs' first restaurant opened in London in 1896 serving fish and chips, bread and butter, and tea for nine pence, and its popularity ensured a rapid expansion of the chain. The restaurants were carpeted had table service, tablecloths, flowers, china, and cutlery, and made the trappings of upmarket dining affordable to the working classes for the first time. They were located in Tottenham Court Road, St. Pancras, The Strand, Hoxton, Shoreditch, Brixton, and other London districts, as well as Clacton, Brighton, Ramsgate, Margate, and other seaside resorts in southern England. Menus were expanded in the early 20th century to include meat dishes and other variations as their popularity grew to a total of 30 restaurants. Sam Isaac's trademark was the phrase This is the place, combined with a picture of the Pundapon fish in question. A glimpse of the old Brighton restaurant at No. 1 Marine Parade can be seen in the background of Norman Wisdom's 1955 film One Good Turn just as Wisdom slash Pitkin runs onto the seafront, this is now the site of a Harry Ramsden's Fish and Chips restaurant. A blue plaque at Oldham's Tommy Field Market marks the first chips fried in England in 1860 and the origin of the fish and chip shop and fast food industries. Dundee City Council claims that chips were first sold by a Belgian immigrant, Edward de Journier, in the city's green market in the 1870s. In Edinburgh, a combination of gold star brown sauce and water or malt vinegar, known as sauce, or more specifically as chippy sauce, has great popularity. The annual National Fish and Chips Awards were set up in the UK in 1988. The 30th Annual Fish and Chips Awards ceremony was attended by Norwegian Ambassador to the UK Mona Jewell. United Kingdom In Ireland, the first fish and chips were sold by an Italian immigrant, Giuseppe Servi who mistakenly stepped off an America-bound ship at COBH in County Cork in the 1880s and walked all the way to Dublin. He started by selling fish and chips outside Dublin pubs from a handcart. He then found a permanent spot in Great Brunswick Street. His wife Palma would ask customers Uno de Cuesta, Uno de Quella. 
This phrase entered the vernacular in Dublin as one and one, which is still a way of referring to fish and chips in the city. Fish and chips are the most popular takeaway food in New Zealand. Food historians have been unable to pinpoint exactly when the meal became an established part of New Zealand cuisine but all recognise that the first fish and chips shops were introduced by British settlers before World War I. During the 20th century, nearly every small town and suburb in New Zealand had at least one fish and chip shop. As in Britain, Friday night has been the traditional night to eat fish. Traditionally, fish and chips were served in wrappings of newspaper. With the decline of the newspaper industry, this has become less common. In 1980, four up-and-coming Labour Party politicians, including David Lang, were nicknamed the Fish and Chip Brigade due to a picture published at the time with the group eating fish and chips. In the United States, the dish is most commonly sold as fish and chips, except in upstate New York and Wisconsin and other parts of the Northeast and Upper Midwest, where this dish would be called a fish fry. Despite the name fish and chips, and the U.S. meaning of chips, the dish is served with French fries. In the southern United States, a common form of cuisine is fried catfish with French fries, accompanied by coleslaw, pickles, raw onion slices and lemon slices. Traditional frying uses beef dripping or lard, however, vegetable oils, such as peanut oil now predominate. A minority of vendors in the north of England and Scotland, and the majority of vendors in Ulster, still use dripping or lard, as it imparts a different flavor to the dish, but this makes the fried chips unsuitable for vegetarians and for adherents of certain faiths. Lard is used in some living industrial history museums, such as the Black Country Living Museum. British and Irish chips are usually thicker than American-style French fries sold by major multinational fast food chains, resulting in a lower fat content per portion. In their homes or in some restaurants, people in or from the United States may eat a thick type of chip, more similar to the British and Irish variant, sometimes referred to as steak fries. Fish and Chips Awards Ireland In Britain and Ireland, fish and chip shops traditionally use a simple water and flour batter, adding a little sodium bicarbonate and a little vinegar to create lightness, as they react to create bubbles in the batter. Other recipes may use beer or milk batter, where these liquids are often substitutes for water. The carbon dioxide in the beer lends a lighter texture to the batter. Beer also results in an orange-brown color. A simple beer batter might consist of a 2-3 ratio of flour to beer by volume. The type of beer alters the taste of the batter, some prefer lager whereas others use stout or bitter. New Zealand United States Composition Cooking Thickness in Britain and Ireland, cod and haddock appear most commonly as the fish used for fish and chips, but vendors also sell many other kinds of fish, especially other white fish, such as pollock or coli, plaice, skate and ray, and hus or rock salmon. In Ulster, cod, plaice or whiting appear most commonly in fish suppers supper being Scottish and Northern Irish chip shop terminology for a food item accompanied by chips. Suppliers in Devon and Cornwall often offer pollock and coli as cheap alternatives to haddock. In Australia, reef cod and rock cod, barramundi or flathead, flake or snapper, are commonly used. From the early 21st century, farmed bassa imported from Vietnam and hokey have become common in Australian fish and chip shops. 
Other types of fish are also used based on regional availability. In New Zealand, snapper, or gurnard was originally the preferred species for battered fillets in the North Island. As catches of this fish declined, it was replaced by hokey, shark marketed as lemon fish and terakihi. Bluefin gurnard and blue cod predominate in South Island fish and chips. Batter In the United States, the type of fish used depends on availability in a given region. Some common types are cod, halibut, flounder, tilapia or, in New England, Atlantic cod or haddock. Salmon is growing common on the west coast, while freshwater catfish is most frequently used in the southeast. In India, the dish is usually based on pomfret fish, and uses chili paste, and more pepper than would be used in Britain. In chip shops in both Great Britain and Ireland, salt and vinegar are traditionally sprinkled over fish and chips at the time it is served. Suppliers use malt vinegar, onion vinegar, or the cheaper non-brewed condiment. In England, a portion of mushy peas is a popular side dish, as are a range of pickles that typically include gherkins, onions, and eggs. In table service restaurants and pubs, the dish is usually served with a slice of lemon for squeezing over the fish and without any sauces or condiments, with salt, vinegar, and sauces available at the customer's leisure. In Ireland, Wales, and England, most takeaways serve warm side portions of sauces such as curry sauce, gravy, or mushy peas. The sauces are usually poured over the chips. In some areas, this dish without fish is referred to as wet chips. In the Midlands especially, chips with mushy peas or baked beans is known as a pea mix or a bean mix. Other fried products include scraps, originally a byproduct of fish frying. Still popular in northern England, they were given as treats to the children of customers. Portions prepared and sold today consist of loose blobs of batter, deep-fried to a crunchy golden crisp in the cooking fat. The potato scallop or potato cake consists of slices of potato dipped in fish batter and deep-fried until golden brown. These are often accompanied for dipping by the warm sauces listed above. In the United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and South Africa, fish and chips are usually sold by independent restaurants and takeaways known as fish and chip shops. Outlets range from small affairs to chain restaurants. Locally owned seafood restaurants are also popular in many places, as are mobile chip vans. In Canada, the outlets may be referred to as chip wagons. In the United Kingdom some shops have amusing names, such as A Salt and Battery, The Cod Father, The Frying Scotsman, Oh My Cod and Frying Nemo in New Zealand and Australia. Fish and chip vendors are a popular business and source of income among the Asian community, particularly Chinese migrants. In Indonesia, fish and chips are commonly found in metropolitan cities such as Jakarta in Western restaurants. In Ireland, the majority of traditional vendors are migrants or the descendants of migrants from southern Italy. A trade organization exists to represent this tradition. Fish and chips is a popular lunch meal eaten by families traveling to seaside resorts for day trips who do not bring their own picnic meals. Choice of fish Fish and chip outlets sell roughly 25% of all the white fish consumed in the United Kingdom, and 10% of all potatoes. The numerous competitions and awards for Best Fish and Chip Shop testify to the recognized status of this type of outlet in popular culture. Accompaniments Fish and Chip Shops traditionally wrapped their product in newspaper, 
or with an inner layer of white paper and an outer layer of newspaper or blank newsprint, though the use of newspaper for wrapping has almost ceased on grounds of hygiene. Nowadays, establishments usually use food quality wrapping paper, occasionally printed on the outside to imitate newspaper. The British National Federation of Fish Friars was founded in 1913. It promotes fish and chips and offers training courses. Vendors Cultural Impact Environment A previous world record for the largest serving of fish and chips was held by Gatolito's Seafood Market in New Paltz, New York. This 2004 record was broken by Yorkshire pub Wensleydale Heifer in July 2011. An attempt to break this record was made by Doncaster Fish and Chip Shops Cosby Fisheries in August 2012, which served 33 pounds of battered cod alongside 64 pounds of chips. The long-standing Roman Catholic tradition of not eating meat on Fridays, especially during Lent, and of substituting fish for meat on that day continues to influence habits even in predominantly Protestant, Anglican, semi-secular and secular societies. Friday night remains a traditional occasion for eating fish and chips, and many cafeterias and similar establishments, while varying their menus on other days of the week, habitually offer fish and chips every Friday. In Australia and New Zealand, the words fish and chips are often used as a shibboleth to highlight the difference in each country's short I vowel sound. Australian English has a higher forward sound, close to the Y in happy and city, while New Zealand English has a lower backward sound, a slightly higher version of the A in about and comma. Thus, New Zealanders hear Australians say fish and chips while Australians hear New Zealanders say fush and chups. In the UK, waste oil from fish and chip shops has become a useful source of biodiesel. The German biodiesel company Petrotech has outlined plans to produce biodiesel in the UK from waste oil from the British fish and chip industry. Bibliography